Today's a day of celebration. A day we celebrate. The day we end. Oh, it's the most, it's the most wonderful day of the year. A check for 1.9 million is going to a worthless bomb who the Mets didn't want to pay in 2000. It's Bobby Boday, it's a bodacious day. Can't you see that the Mets are misery? Today we're gonna party like it's 1999. I got some cupcakes here. Let's get a Bobby Bow cup, cup cupcake. Hmm. See, we got a little pup, a little pup, uh, cupcake. Mm. One point nine million dollars. Never tasted so sweet. Got some Fanta. Let's enjoy some Fanta. Got a little straw here, of course. It's the annual day that the Mets give $1.9 million to a player a year. They did not want to pay in 2000. This short-sighted clusterfuck of an organization didn't want to pay Bobby Bonilla $6 million in 2000. So now they're paying him $1.9 million annually for 25 years. This is how inept, incompetent, stupid the Wilpon family is. Today we're gonna party for a player who hasn't played for the Mets since 1999. <laughs> they he stunk up the joint, so they released him in 2000. <laughs> but instead of paying him six million, they made a deal. Beginning in 2011, they would pay him 1.9 mil. They put the money into escrow that was invested by Bernie Madoff. When the money was lost, they had to play a fun to payroll. And he's making more money than some of the Mets' best players. If you want to know why this organization is completely and totally screwed... It started, begins to start with Bobby Bonilla. How short-sighted it is! How dumb it is! And now we got the modern-day Mets. 11-1, and one, and now in last place. Worst team in the National League. Below the Marlins. The Marlins, a team that's double-A roster. Jacob DeGrom, again, the last three runs, it's over. They never helped this man out. They never helped him. They never scored for him. And then the bullpen implodes, lose 6-2. Night after night after night. And you got this manager, this manager. It's okay to lose. It's okay to lose. La da 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 da. I hate Mickey Calloway. I loathe Mickey Calloway. I can't stand Mickey Calloway. If he's back next year, I will not renew my season tickets. My Saturday plan. I'm not even, right now, I don't even think I'll, I'll order. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to renew my plan. But I tell you what, if Mickey Calloway's a manager next year, I'm not going to this single damn game. Loser. This guy's a loser. And losing breeds losing. A loser breeds losing. You got the Jose Reyes, who doesn't run out of the ground ball. Jose Reyes, you get rid of him. That's how you start sending messages. There's no message sent here. Losing is okay. There's no accountability.
No accountability. Elsewhere, Red Sox battle back. Now, we take first place in the American League East with an 11-0 win over the Yankees. Uh, Raphael Devers led the offensive attack with a grand slam. As Sonny Gray, <laughs> Sonny Gray. If the Yankees have one guy that's on their team, it's a major disappointment. It's Sonny Gray. And he stinks at home. He stinks. And, of course, they went up against Chris Sale. And it was, come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me. As he just shut down the Yankee bats, two-hitter. Although Sale only allowed one hit in seven innings, so. Just absolutely uh, dominant effort by the Red Sox. So, Sunday night, it will be the rubber game. And we'll, uh, it's all on David Price. David Price never pitched well against the Yankees and looks like he's afraid of the Yankees. He's got to come up big for the Red Sox. He's got to come up big. I, uh, the Yankees got their ace going, Luis Severino. So the Yankees have a big advantage. Elsewhere in baseball, it was the Blue Jays' 4 3 winners over the Tigers. The Cubs, in a day where the wind was blowing out in Wrigley Field, Got a 14-9 win over the Twins. It was the Angels, 6-2 winners over the Orioles. The A's were 7-2 winners over the Indians. The Reds clubbed the Brewers, 12-3. The Rays, boy, the Rays have been playing really good as of late. Beat the Astros, 5-2. And guess who comes to City Field next week? The Rays! Yay! More losses! You realize the Mets were 5-21 in June? 5 and 21. They were not bad in 1962. The Phillies edged the Nationals 3 to 2. It was the Rockies 3 1 winners over the Dodgers. The Braves were 11 4 winners over the Cardinals. The Rangers 13 4 winners over the White Sox. The Mariners beat the Royals 6 to 4. The Padres Made the Pirates walk the plank in a 4-3 win. And it was the Giants blanking to Diamondbacks 7-0. In Russia, it was bye-bye to some big stars. As Uruguay knocked off Portugal, sending Cristiano Ronaldo back home without a World Cup. And Argentina... Don't cry to me, Argentina. The truth is you shouldn't have been in the knockout round. You got lucky, but you played like crap the whole tournament. Lionel Messi is a shrinky dink. Don't cry to me, Argentina. Messi's career ends without a World Cup. He was great. When he's playing in club play, but when the chips are down, he shrinks. Don't cry to me, Argentina. Your World Cup hopes are over. A 4-3 loss to France. You got ants in your pants, and you're going home. Today's three stars are... Chris Sale of the Red Sox, Edison Caviani of Uruguay, who had two goals in the win over Portugal, and Kailan Mpapi for a France who had two goals in their win over Argentina. Today's birthday shout-out goes to one of the top players in NHL who uh, did not play in 2018. It looks like he's retired. Turns 41. He'll definitely be a Hall of Famer when his uh, uh, eligibility comes up. Jerome Ingla. Uh, when he gets in, he'll be the third black player in the uh, Hall of Fame, joining uh, Grant Fuhr and uh, Willie O'Ree, who just got invited, inducted this week. So happy 41 to Jerome Ingla.
And we take a look back to 1990. When Andy Hawkins threw a no no. Oh no! Yes, the Yankees lost the game for nothing. And get, and their pitcher threw a no hitter. This was when the Yankees were a bad team, and this was rock bottom. An embarrassing loss. Jim Leibich dropped a fly ball in the eighth inning, Scott allowing three runs to score. Jesse Barfield dropped another fly ball on the next batter. It was sheer embarrassment at Kaminsky Park. Check out the full story of Barstool Sports. It's Sports Encyclopedia, where sports history lives. Good day.